A short prayer with family at the Lee Funeral Home would mark yet another step in Mama Lucy Kibaki's final journey to her resting place. The convoy making its way to the Consolata Shrine in Westlands for a requiem mass. Minutes after the rest of the family arrived, retired President Mwai Kibaki would arrive with his only daughter, Judy Wanjiko, who has not left his side since Mama Lucy passed on in London Tuesday. In tow was Mama Lucy's coffin, draped in the Kenyan flag. All bearers drawn from the Kenya army carrying it into the church. It is actually the life and death of Her Excellency Mrs. Lucy Mudoni Kibaki. First for blessings and later the mass. We are in this church to pray that indeed the Lord in this year of mercy looks at her with eyes of mercy for the great acts of mercy she did. And may we all be invited to imitate works of mercy away from cameras. Works of mercy that will pull us to heaven. But by the help of your mercy. One by one sharing their tribute to a woman who they described to be of strong character and will. Mama Lucy Kibaki, ladies and gentlemen, was different. She was different. She spoke her mind freely and honestly. She was never hostage to what society or people wanted her to be. She was herself and she was forthright. And she spoke, as I said, her mind freely and honestly. Mama Lucy is somebody that I have also known most of my life. And I can assure you, there were no half ways. You were either on her right side or you were on her wrong side. And I can assure you if you were on her wrong side, it wasn't a very pleasant experience values that she also ensured were instilled even at home. Her family also saw the other side of Lucy, the gentle spirit that brought smiles on her grandchildren's faces. She sure was the most kind-hearted person I know. She always made me put on a smile even at the hardest times. Her role in our lives will forever remain exemplary. She had a vibrant personality and a soul that would ignite a fire within anyone. Mediocrity was simply not an option. Lucy Muthoni Kibaki, born Lucy Muthoni Kagai, has bowed out of this earthly abode with distinction in what she did, believed in, and stood for. She has, no doubt, journeyed through a life favored by uncommon privilege and blessings. Yet, at no time did she abandon her strong convictions, devotion to courses she set her mind on, or her instinctive motherly compassion. Mama Lucy was 82 years old when she died, with the family now preparing to lay her to rest on Saturday. Her light shone bright throughout the years, a jewel that touched the hearts of many despite their background or status. Their family says that light will shine on. Esther Kahome Makori, Citizen TV, Nairobi.